Hey, how's it going guys? Zeta here. So, I definitely wanted to bring up this conversation and just genuinely think about it for a moment. So as you have read the title of this video, I kinda am proposing an idea that Marathon from Bungie should instead be something closer to an extraction shooter game. And instead, because of what we have heard, now even though this is not an official confirmation, that it's actually going to be more or less of a hero shooter. I personally am now looking forward to hero shooter aspect and, and like I said in the title, I really want to see Marathon being an extraction game. Now initially I believe that at least the very first and early rumors were that, uh, well Marathon was supposed to be closer to an extraction shooter than a hero shooter. Now, obviously, since because Marathon is having so many issues with its development, especially with Jason Trier mentioning it regarding that, a lot of people are not exactly confident with Marathon, and yet also Bungie just genuinely needs a hater. Marathon, they're hoping Marathon is it, but in my opinion, I think that obviously they can't bank all their you know all their eggs in one basket into Marathon, and yet we already know that they're going to be continuing supporting. Uh, Destiny 2 and of course Marathon, now that they have given up on a lot of and pretty much all of the incubation projects. Some of them thankfully went over to PlayStation Studios, so they're making their versions of those incubational projects. But nevertheless, Marathon and Destiny 2 will be main aspect for Bungie. Now it's good news, maybe it's not bad news for a lot of people as well. Nevertheless, like I wanted to touch on, let's touch on regarding of the extraction game and why I'm also mentioning more about that. So I've been watching a lot of gameplays of Delta Force extraction game. It looks fantastic. It's actually quite a similar approach that has been already introduced in Escape of Tarkov. And I think it has a potential that Marathon could be something similar to that. Nevertheless, I'm not really seeing that a lot of people would be willing to make this uh, into this, right, into this marathon game style. Can Bungie really do it? Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm not talking about if Bungie is capable of crafting or making something or something like that. What I'm talking about, how good it will be. Now, thankfully, we already know that Bungie are fantastic with first person aspect games. They know what they're doing and they're fantastic at it. And the best thing about it as well, I think that uh, their shooting mechanics and how they feel are top notch. In fact, I will argue and say that maybe the best shooting mechanics are coming from Bungie. Now, they were the ones that pretty much have reinvented the wheel in terms of having incredible and intuitive first person aspect gameplay, especially on consoles. But then, uh, obviously, with over the years, many decades over, like, you know, we've seen a lot of people having their own iterations of first person aspects video games. In this case, of course, I'm talking about, uh, you know, Marathon having a similar approach style like a Delta Force and Extraction game, part of it anyway. I think it would have been a fantastic approach. I think they could have expanded on it, they could have just made one giant uh, map, right? And similar approach that they could have done, like Warzone has done with Call of Duty aspect. But I'm not talking about Battle Royale because I'm sick of it. Like I'm, I know a lot of people are sick of it, Battle Royale genres and titles because they're the same thing over and over again. Sure, there are introductions towards new gimmicky moments and features within these games, but I'm talking about extraction games. In this case, that extraction is still a relatively new aspect for uh, a lot of people to, uh, you know, invest their time into it. But also, the best thing why I want to mention, why I'm, I'm also proposing this idea, just keep on going with the extraction element of uh, for marathon. Like th I think that would have been the best the approach. The thing is why I'm mentioning it because this game, this game mode has. PVE and Bungie are known for making incredible PVE content that genuinely makes it interesting. PvP, they already had a lot of time and effort that they put into Halo, Destiny. Like, they're not noobs, they're not new to this. And so, I think that it's a great approach if they will continue on and continue making PVE centric games. But now with the extraction game implemented within Marathon, they could also implement a PvP you know, a component in there as well. Now, 
Thankfully, though, this is not Destiny. So this means that they can kind of go crazy, right? They don't have to follow all the footsteps that they have made within Destiny. Yeah, even including uh, Halo. Maybe to some degree, they kind of have to be a little bit restrictive or limited due to the name of IP, right? The Marathon, because this is a very old game. And uh, maybe they're trying to take some inspirations and some elements from that old game. And they're putting it in into this new game. I do not know. But I think that it would have been a fantastic approach to see their spin, their version of Extraction Game, but within Marathon Game. Still, I think that if they would have been able to do this, it would, would be fantastic. And I think that they should just completely abandon this hero shooter element within Marathon because that's not going to get anywhere. We're already seeing a repeated cycle with Overwatch 2. We're repeating the same thing uh, with Concord. Just a lot of people are not interested. They're not interested in hero shooters. It's just overstated its welcome. It's been popular back almost a decade ago. Battlefield, uh, Battlefield, Battle Royale has just completely oversaturated and overstated its welcome since 2017. And it kept going strong for like a long, long time to like, what was it, 2022, I'll say. And now, it's, of course, it's kind of overstating its welcome. And then here comes a new approach for an extraction shooter game that, like Escape of Tarkov, even though it was already released relatively long ago, that wasn't too long, but still it didn't yet find the appeal or the main audience. But now, in 2024, it has, and a lot of games are kind of going with that um, approach with Delta Force Extraction as game as an example, uh, Escape from uh, Tarkov. I think it would really work in this case. I think that Marathon should go with this direction and make their game version of an extraction shooter game. Okay, so one more thing it's important for me to clarify. Marathon, right? It's been already in the development a few years, if not longer. And still, it's very difficult for them to just simply abandon the idea and make an extraction shooter game just because I said so or some other people said so. Obviously, it doesn't work this way. They have their own uh, ideas, their own versions, and their own minds how they want to go about making their version of Marathon. Still, I personally think that everything that we have heard and everything that we are known from leaks, a little bit of rumors, and just like Jason Trier, also Jeff Grubb, it's just nothing good news. There's no good news related to Bungie as of recently, other than maybe for Destiny fans that thankfully Destiny 2 is uh, getting kept at and is going to continue on receiving updates, even though there's actually bad news on that as well, since the uh, content updates, well, it's just simply going to have content updates. No longer is going to have expansions. So people are pretty darn pissed about it. And then one day, like about a few days ago, actually, Jason Shry made an appearance at Friends Per, Fr Friends per Second Podcast, I believe is the name, with Skill Up and the rest of the, of the crew. And he mentions that there's been a little talk relating to Marathon, that the idea is similar that was introduced within, oh God, Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. When I heard that, I was like face to the palm and I was like devastated I genuinely was now I got his idea I, I understand his mentality what why he mentioned it that you know why kill uh, suicide killed the Justice League why something maybe different perhaps not it's because the marathon IP that it's been in development was too long so a lot of ideas that were cooking were already outdated by the time 2023 2024 came around and now that they have delayed it even longer, because initially this game, Marathon, was supposed to come out this year. But then it got pushed an additional year, so it most likely it will be coming out at the end of 2025. So I don't believe that it's going to be enough time for them to implement an extraction shooter element. And perhaps, maybe, we're just not aware exactly what this game has to offer. Because again, guys, this is rumors. And there's a lot of things that are coming relating to Marathon at least from very reliable leakers such as Jason Schreier, he mentions that it's a closer to hero shooter aspect of the game. And I'm just like, I'm sick of it. This is just the, the next Concord. It's the next Fair Games. It's the next Suicide Squad Games. It's the next Marvel's Avengers. It's just going to die off, unfortunately. And I'm not, I don't want to see that. You know what I mean? I want to see 
games thriving. I want to see these games also being the best as they can be, constantly getting supported from big studios such as, of course, like Bungie. And so there would not be any of these layoffs. And so people are going to be devastated. And news after news coming up saying there's a yet again a layoff or yet again there may be a complete shutdown of the studio. It's just, um, you don't want to see it, nobody wants to hear it, even though it does generate clickbaits and clicks for the views and articles and videos. It is good, you know, for content creators and, you know, blog writers, but nevertheless, this is life we're talking about. I don't want to see employees just getting laid off, or because the idea that they had was super, super outdated. And like, as an example, live service titles about what was it they were kicking off in 2017 they went off like off the rails in 2020 because of the corona situation and they like studios and publishers they saw the opportunity of putting all their eggs into the one basket as such as live service titles now that uh, when the publishers decided to make live service titles such as playstation sony now they're seeing how long they have to create these games and by the time that these games were created the idea already overstayed its welcome and there's a new thing in town so people could invest their time and and you know have fun with but all but the new games that are coming out with old ideas well these games becoming well irrelevant and they just die off no matter what even if their games is fantastic plays well and super uh, polished like Concord as an example, it is a good game, it really is, but it's completely outdated. It's completely outdated for 2024 standards. And yet, even though it's a $40 price tag game, a lot of people saying, well, I can play this game completely for free. And you're giving me as much as content as, as this 40 euro or dollar game. So what's the point? I can just play a free to play game. I'd rather that because it almost feels the same, a similar amount of polish as well. Uh, you see, there's a lot of things we can talk about relating to Bungie, Marathon, uh, Destiny 2, and of course many other titles that are already touched on in this country. Like, you know, after seeing so much relating to Bungie, and just how devastating the news is, and how much of time and effort that they put into their titles, and then it's just pretty much going nowhere, uh, it's very, very disappointing, unfortunately. All right, guys, that's all I wanted to have a little bit of a chat for today. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all later. No ghost, no way to use the light. And what could make this traumatic experience better than finding my killer waiting for me? But we talked it out because we're adults. He seems nicer these days. Yeah, pretty low bar.